sailors and welcome to SailSmart, the human body. Now I know some of you are automatically thinking, Jay, what's the human body got to do with sailing? The wind is my engine, but actually it's our bodies that are our engine. So we need to know a little bit about how they work to best use them in our sailboat. Now there's lots of things that come into the human body, things like diet, how your body looks, and I know what you're thinking, Jake doesn't keep that physique by eating anything he wants. No, no, no. Lots of donuts and chocolate go into this physique. Anyway, let's talk about the human body some more. Now, we brought in a technical expert this time. So, Lee, what can you tell us about the human body? So, we're going to focus today on the circulatory system, and that is the heart, the blood, and the blood vessels. So, Lee, what, what does the heart do? So the heart pumps blood via the blood vessels around the body with food and oxygen in it so we can give it to all the parts of the body that need it so we can move. Sounds pretty important to me. But Lee, how do I know that it's actually working right now? So it certainly is important, Jake. Our heart is constantly beating to provide food and oxygen around the body. It's even beating whilst we sleep. Now we can measure our heart rate by finding our pulse. And now this is measured in beats per minute. So I'd like you to follow me through on this one, Jake, and take two fingers and just put them on your chin. Now follow your jawline until you find the end of your jawline and then slowly go down until you feel the beat. Have you found it? Yeah, I found it. Perfect, so now we're gonna check our pulse. With 30 seconds on the clock, we're going to count for 30 seconds and count how many beats you feel. Three, two, one, start counting. And stop. What did you get, Jake? I got 45 beats, I think. 45 beats, okay. So, and as that was 30 seconds, what we need to do is double it. So 45 times two equals 90. So we're gonna call that your resting heart rate. So with every beat, your heart is sending oxygen and food around the body. Wow, so what's this got to do with exercise and going sailing? Great question, Jake. So we're gonna start with a quick experiment. So on your feet, we're gonna start moving. If you start jogging on the spot for me, Jake. Brilliant, great, well done. So the circulatory system, Jake, is really, really clever. When you're exercising, um, it responds by beating faster and sending more oxygen and nutrients around the body. Start jumps. So the harder we work, the more the heart beats. So, if once we're sailing, the first few, as we're getting out of the water, the first few turns and moves you're doing in the boat, the more your heart's going to be beating. Oh, how much longer do I have to go? Keep going, Jake, keep going. We need to get that heart rate up. Oh, I think it's up. <laughs> ten more seconds, ten more starters. One. If I keep going, I might take three, off. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Well done, Jake. We're going to take our heart rate again. So, from along your chin, around your jawline, slowly down until you feel that pulse, and start counting in three, two, one. Start counting. And stop there. What number did you get, Jake? I think I got fifty-six. Fifty-six. So again, that was for thirty seconds. So fifty-six times two. So that is, how good do you maths, Jake? I think it's 112. 112 beats per minute, good maths and well done. So as a result of our exercise, your heart rate has increased, and we're gonna call that your activity heart rate, okay? Right, Jake, so the next thing we need to think about is the blood vessels. Now, the blood vessels are like the road network for the blood to travel through. So the blood travels through the blood vessels to get to all the different working parts of the body. Now there's three different types of blood vessels. One is the arteries. Now the arteries carry blood 
away from the heart. Next is the capillaries. Now, the capillaries are the smallest of our blood vessels. They're tiny, tiny blood vessels, and it's where the exchange takes place between the oxygen and nutrients and the activity that we're doing in the muscles' tissues. Then, the veins is our third blood vessel, and that brings blood back to the heart. So, Lee, it sounds like all the veins and arteries and capillaries are a bit like roads in a big city where they go everywhere and lead to all the different corners uh, on a map. Is that sort of like how they all work? Yeah, pretty much, Jake. Um, but it's like the, the, on that road network, the blood knows exactly where to go. So you imagine a sat-nav that never went the wrong way. The final thing we need to do now, Jake, now we've stopped exercising, is take our recovery heart rate. So after we've exercised, our heart rate should start to drop again. So if you want to find your pulse one final time for me, Jake, so working your way from your chin, around your jawline, down a little bit until you feel that beat. 30 seconds on the clock, one more time. What did you get, Jake? I got 46 that time. 46, but you're all the way back down to where you started. It was, is that pretty close to where you started? Yeah, is that good? That's really good, Jake. What it means is that if you've got a really good recovery rate, that's a real good measure of your cardiovascular fitness. So you must be pretty athletic. Yeah, something like that. Cardiovascular. That's me. So the circulatory system is hugely important when we are sailing. For you guys at home, what I'd like you to do is see if you can plot your resting heart rate, your activity heart rate, and your recovery heart rate on your graph to see if you end up with this kind of shape. So then the next time you're sailing, you know that your circulatory system is going to be hard at work. So just think about it. next time you're out on the water, check your heart rate. See if you notice your heart rate increasing. That's super. Thanks, Lee. It's really good to know what's going on when I'm sitting in my boat, I'm hiking out, trapezing, pulling all of those ropes and doing that hard work, all the stuff that's going on behind the scenes. Anyway, it's time for you guys to get active at home. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and we'll see you again soon. All the best. Oh.